What up, people? Base logic. You know, when you happen to be right about a certain situation or topic, the mature individual does not go around constantly putting it in people's faces, pointing out how they were wrong, constantly saying, I told you so, I told you so. Unfortunately for everyone I know, my channel ain't called Mature Logic. It's called Base Logic. And I'm going to keep pushing this shit in niggas' faces every chance I get. Because you niggas did this. Now, what was crazy to me at the time it happened, and continues to blow my mind, is this Charlemagne the God Joe Biden interview. This is right before he got elected. Well, elected. And he went on the Breakfast Club and said this. What's off putting? Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. The comment may have been. He said that on The Breakfast Club, one of the biggest syndicated radio shows in the country, if not the biggest. He said that niggas still turned out in record numbers and voted for him. That blows my fucking mind. Now, I know it's a lot of people that can get hustled. But for people that I know to willingly get hustled, it makes no sense. When you sit around black people and they talk about their gripes, one of the things that will constantly come up is the crime bill of the 90s. Man, that was fucked up. Black people was getting all the time for crack. White people was getting half the time for coke. Man, that was clearly racist. This motherfucker wrote the bill. But you ain't got no problem with the author. The bill was fucked up, but you love the author. You niggas hate Romeo and Juliet. You hate Hamlet. But you love Shakespeare. That's your fucking logic. So when this is the case, yeah, I, I can't help but to point this out all the time. Now, yesterday was MLK Day. And Joe Biden had a hell of a fucking statement to make. A hell of a comparison. Check this out. We have to, uh, we have to give guidance, it seems to me. Better assassination did not have the worldwide impact. Mask and he doesn't think this. I mean, come on. But even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's death did. Well, what George Floyd happened to George Floyd, now you got how many people around the country? Millions of cell phones. It's changed the way everybody's looking at this. Look at the millions of people marching. On MLK Day, 2022, this retarded fuck said that George Floyd's death had a bigger impact on the world than Martin Luther King Jr.'s. Now, yeah, we live in the information age. Internet. Things are trending. Yeah, the day after George Floyd died, yeah, I'm pretty sure more people around the world knew about it than the day after MLK died. Just because news travels faster through the internet than fucking newspapers. But you think that that means it had a bigger impact on the world? Hey, Joe Biden. The year after Jesus died. I guarantee you that the year after George Floyd died, more people knew about George Floyd. Does that also mean that George Floyd's death had a bigger impact on the world? Fuck no. It's just what you get when we live in the internet age. For a motherfucker like you. To try to compare George Floyd, a fentanyl using, pregnant woman attacking, fucking loser. A fucking loser. Comparing him to MLK. That shows all the respect you have for people in general, but especially black people. But this is the nigga who told you if you don't vote for him, you're not black. So, I don't know. I'm going to let you niggas that voted for him round table it out and figure out, you know, how y'all going to go about this. If y'all going to keep walking around, acting like... Y'all not the one that voted for him. Yeah, you was. Yeah, the fuck you was. Now you got to live with it. And like I said, I'm base lobby, so I'm going to keep pointing this shit in your fucking faces. Take this video for what it's worth. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.